Oh, pick order in the draft deck. Yes, thank you. Well, we're on to a new game. It's Dad Let Go, who was our Genji two games ago. It's Tricky was on the enemy side of the last game. And oh my goodness, you play some Malganus there, buddy. We got a... Stuka of Mephisto. Mephisto mains. Where, where did you come from? Phoenix rises as a master. Okay, it looks like we're... It looks like we're kicking it in a Diamond Master game today. Sky Temple. Yep, yeah, uh, you're gonna Mephisto. Yeah, that, we knew that was gonna happen. Mudge and Derivo on the enemy side. Gross. And 45. So, bit of a stack team over there. I'll see you on the other side, Derebo. Good luck, have fun. How we doing today? Oh, we won our first Uther game, but uh, we have a nice cornucopia of heroes. I mean, our our stable is wide open, and we're showing off many heroes today on stream. At least Hanzo can right-click people, right, at the end of the day? GM ban, I wonder why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I wonder why, too. Oh. That's fair. I, I, yeah, I, I don't even think of that. We're just gonna ban... I mean, we ban Deathwing anyway, right? You ban Arya and ban Deathwing, and the other two are, like, made up for, you know, because you're taking a guess. It's kind of the way. I mean, there's Alarak now available, and, you know, who wants to fight Alaraks, but... Are they going to do the Alarak? An Anduin early pick. Zul'jin. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things we could ban just out of pure, like... I don't want to show double melee in the opener here. He's going to pick Malganus anyway, so no surprise there. I mean, you were going to pick Mephisto anyway, aren't you? I mean, are you really, are you really considering it? You're like, I don't, I, you know, I, I want to, I, I, I'm interested to see the enemy team first. Okay, well, that's happening. A Deckard. Okay. Or an Alex. Were they just in that last game or something and saw Rock and Alex and want to do their own Alex? Oh no, no, they were doing. It's amazing how many masters play Heroes Brawl. I don't, I don't even touch it. But maybe they do it as a warm up. Yeah, maybe, maybe Heroes Brawl is a warm up. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, I, I'd never touch it. Honestly, I'm always warming up in quick match because I'm working on a hero, but I guess it's the same thing. No, an Alarak's still very oppressive. I mean, that's kind of our problem, right? Is uh, we are very melee heavy. Ugh. I mean, I'd rather have... He wants the Varian. Why does he want to... You're... You said you wanted a ranged assassin. Don't we need some range of our own, or are we just going to kind of charge down... Think of Taunt Root. I mean, yeah, this leaves so much on Mephisto, though. I don't think we'll have problems closing with them, but we're going to be very melee heavy. Lucky there's no Kael'thas to have to contend with. Cash, <laughs> crash, no, no, probably not, probably not. We'll probably end up stacking in the lane, and I like the regen, because I'm not going to be getting Deckard potions with reliability. They're just going to happen. And we're going to let him happen. 
a butcher. Wow, that's a bit of a surprise, but I guess it serves a similar purpose, except for you end up kind of in a weird spot if you charge the Genji. Yeah, I, I don't really know. I don't really know. And I don't really know Dad Let Go. We played one game where they were Genji, and it was a really rough game for him, but that was just a rough game and a, a lot of poke, and they took a lot of poke. So, looks like we have a Master Deckard, but otherwise it's a pretty diamond game. What's the next hero you want to master? Probably Blaze is the one I'm actually going to be working on. I want to do Lucio, I just... be so lame. But Blaze is next on the list, and then we'll see. I do need to probably work on my Rag. Uh, we have Leo, I think Leo played really well, so, you know, we have a Bruiser alternative in Leo. But I think Blaze is next up. I think Rag is in that sort of Sonya place where everybody's played him, so everybody's got opinions. And I think losing on Malfeel is just... Just feels useless. I, the pros all say, you know, when you're watching guides and whatnot, everyone's just like, you just go deep, you get a kill, and you give your team uh, 4v4 at the very least. But uh, I don't know about that. All right, well, I got a little little juice in that that pile there. Blaze does have awesome sounds. Why are we... F we're fighting into Zul'jin, which is kind of weird. I'm just here to, like, create pressure. So that Diablo can't join the bottom business. Three for three. Where's Diablo? This is going to be a rough walk home. Mega bummer. What role do you think we're getting next? Yeah, we should start hearing about another hero. Honestly, if they're just doing community favors, I think Lady Vash is at the top of the list. What kind of... I mean, people have been talking about getting a new tank for a long while, too. So, in terms of that sort of business, I think people want to tank. A little late. Join me in the eh, butcher's going down. They are doing that camp. I don't think there's anything we can really do about it right now. Certainly not up here in solo land thrall. Mr. Building, why did you suddenly care about me so much? Reinhardt? Reinhardt would be really cool. I heard something like they're just they've been having some trouble getting the shield to function or it's just they've they've tried it but it just doesn't really cook very well oh wow there's someone up here in addition to Diablo. Here comes Butcher. Does Butcher... Butcher wants to go on the pad.
I mean, that's the, yep. That's the story. <laughs> we, uh, we did, I mean, we got an Anduin, but... That's true. And the root should do pretty well into Zul'jin. Gosh, look how much damage he took there. I mean, there's still some shots up there, but... He must be doing malevolence. That was a big auto attack. Yeah. Hey, Lodvar. Let's get it delivered to me. We'll get this quest done. Get ourselves an ancestral stacked up, and we'll be good. This is going to have a Genji response. Not right, not a bad swing for not being 10 yet. With Genji and Win. I think we're just going to Earthquake keep life simple. Look at all these potions down here already. Gotta get that meat! 107! Deckard's back. This actually gives us a pretty good building advantage. Okay. Any camps we can take? Everything's a little butcher. It is a little deep. Trying to juke somebody by the looks of it. Well, he made it last. So we kind of just... I guess he should have died sooner and gotten meat in the top. Get on a better angle.
I don't have heal yet, so let's back it up. Hit the button. Just in case Anduin was going to go for the, the grab. Let's get some camps. Oh, we're going to do boss. We got to finish this up. Twenty-four seconds. Which time's up with my well. Which is going to get some meat in the top. We'll grab our well. That pile. Mudge would absolutely aggressively engage on me. And there we go. Oh, nice save for the Zul'jin. Okay, he's not going to go on that angle. And they're all going to chase, so let's get this done down here. Putting so much into Diablo, but it's more on accident. I think I want to get the slow out on Zul'jin and lock him down. Hey, Vocal. Games are going all right today. It's it's still a bit wild town. Lots of plats in the Diamond Masters games, but we're solving some puzzles. Changing up the roster a bit. If this is to be the future of things, we got to adapt. And I feel like we're doing an okay job adapting. Lots of Mephistos, too, which... Take some learning to play with. The butcher is done. The magic of the temple sleeps until I choose otherwise. A little in tower range, but I think the hit will be good. Oh, wow. I get sight through my earthquake. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we are talking about that last episode. The Sky Temple, thinking of all the buildings as a core shield. And I would love it mechanically if they kind of put that in as a learning mechanic. I mean, still, you've got all the other aspects of the game, like they can access through the top should they win. It's not an invincible core, but it is a cool way to think about the game. I mean, I'm already in melee, so we're just going to keep on hammering the buttons. Boop. Oh, little pop, little pop. Speaking of little pop, did he do damage on teleport or something? Must have just landed a good auto attack. This is actually the build I've been seeing all day out of Mephisto's. We'll check that out when the game is over. Tweepex, thank you for the host. 
Much appreciated. Yes. Good to see UK music. Yeah, so uh, this this quest is phenomenal for accessing the back line. Oh, there's always damage on teleport. Oh. I didn't know that. Huh. That's, yeah. But well, you're gonna take damage, you deal damage, but then you gotta back out for lightning. So you get a little pop sort of calamity kill. But other than that, you'll probably not want to use that all the time. That's interesting. We're definitely gonna read through the Mephisto build, though, because we've been seeing this multiple times. We gotta make sure we don't give up a boss here. Hmm. My temple's power has been extended. You are strong. Ganis. Ah, they got it. Yep, we we had too many people in the top. I'm not actually that interested in hitting Diablos over and over again. Another thrall win. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> I am playing other heroes. Wow. Hey, Anduin. GG. I mean, you got a stun out, but is that all that matters? So, every third hit from Lightning Nova against the same target deals, which I guess would be easy to do as long as you're hitting your Lightnings, 158 bonus damage and grants Mephisto 2 mana. Each regeneration globe, healing duration increased by 150%. Every tick of regeneration globe healing activates Lord of Hatred, reducing basic ability cooldowns by one second. Ghastly armor for 20 armor for 2.5. Hysteria, Lord of Hatred, also reduces the cooldown of Mephisto's heroic ability. Mephisto is healed for 15% of the max health and mana when he casts a heroic ability. Interesting. Static field, when Lightning Nova's damage bonus reaches 30%, enemy heroes within its radius take damage equal to 10% of their max health. And then he put a Consume Hatred on the back of it. Interesting. Well, Deckard actually did a really good job zoning out Zul'jin. 